in for H and H here. Listening to a station on the Canary Islands with my off center fed dipole. Now I'm going to switch to my 160 meter dipole. I just switched. There he is on the off center fed. Okay, let's get him back here. Yep. The 160 meter antenna is fed with 450 on window line. Comes into this PAL Star AT Auto on the balance line input. Okay, so he's uh, peaking about S8. On the uh, 160-meter dipole. Now switching back to the off-center fed. There he is on the off-center fed. When it comes back, I'm going to switch it quickly. Yeah, I just switched it back to the off-center fed. In the neighborhood of 4S units on this guy, I have seen as many as 5S units difference. And the off-center fed dipole is up at about 52 feet. The 160 is at about 45. I really intended the 160 to just be for close in. But on these higher bands, it really works out uh, really well with its gain. Uh, there's some major lobes and then of course nulls as it develops gain. Here we go back to the 160. Norway 4 Hotel, Hotel, Norway 4 Hotel. Delta Echo Golf, CQ North America. Yes, CQ Norway 4 Hotel, Hotel. The Norway 4 Hotel, Hotel. Uh, station there. Come back on the off center field. That's making a good bit of difference on him too. Now back on the 160. Now I'm going to switch over to another one that comes in on the uh, AT Auto on its coax input. And this one is a ZS6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey Optimized G5RV. November 4 Hotel Hotel. Okay, so he's S5 on the ZS6 BKW. And then I'll switch back over to the 160 when he comes back. Wow. I mean, the audio even just comes magnitudes better. So, 
there's the kind of experience I get between a regular dipole and, and the tuning my 160 up for the uh, higher bands. In this case, I'm on 20 meters. Now, I should mention that the, uh, the antenna is actually below a 2 to 1 SWR on 17 and 20 meters, so it really doesn't require the tuner except for a touch-up. Okay, I uh, just thought I would uh, throw this out there just for those who might be considering uh, if you, if you want to put up a ladder fed antenna, I mean, even window line, the 450 on window line is, uh, is a good option. And, uh, you know, in my case, it's a 160 meter length, so it's developing quite a bit of gain up on the uh, higher frequencies. It works very, very well on 10, uh, 10, 12, 15, 17, 20, and even 30. And uh, it's also better than anything else I have for uh, 75 and 80 meters. Um, okay, in 4H and H out.